So we'll start with Zipp's law. Uh, Zipp's law is, um, a, it's basically a law that tells you how many frequent words and rare words you're going to have in a collection of text. So suppose you do, suppose you do the following uh, experiment. You take, uh, you take a large collection of text, you break it up into individual words, uh, lowercase them, uh, and then count the frequency of each word uh, in that collection. Um, and then what you do is you sort the words, you rank them in the order of decreasing frequency. So that's what you have in the figure on the right of the slide. Uh, you have uh, 10 most frequent words in the collection along with their frequencies and ranks. So uh, it's not surprising the most frequent word is the. The, in this case, uh, occurs in about two, and a, uh, about two and a half million times. Of occurs a million times. Two occurs almost a million times, and so on uh, and so forth. Now, what I can also uh, see is I see the ranks, right? The has rank one, of has rank two. And if you look at this table, um, you may notice something quite interesting in there, right? So suppose I take the frequency and multiply it by the rank. What does that end up uh, giving us? So for the word the, I have two and a half million times one, right? For the word of, I have a million times two. So I get, uh, again, a figure in the ballpark of about 2 million. Uh, for the word 2, I have uh, 900,000 times 3. So that's going to give me something in the range of uh, 2.8, 2.9 million. For A, I have uh, 900,000. So times 4, I'm going to have about 3 million. So what you see is when I'm multiplying the frequency times rank, I keep getting approximately the same number, a number in the range of two to three millions. So that is what is known as Zipf's law. And the way the Zipf's law is usually stated is if you multiply the frequency of the word by the rank in this ranked list ordered by decreasing frequencies, you usually get a constant. Uh, you can do it with frequencies, like I did in this example, or you can do it with probabilities. So uh, the probability would be the, what, the relative frequency, the percentage of all occurrences that this word uh, accounts for.